again in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Pastor George Scotty. It's nice coming your way today. Uh, there's a king found in the Bible by the name of Jehoshaphat. Had a good sleep that night. And woke up in the morning to get some shocking news. What was the news? People came to him and said, Oh king, we want you to know there are four armies coming against you today, coming against Judah. So when the king himself went, and when he looked, it was true. As people, the people of Judah, did not have good weapons. But the armies that were coming were carrying with them the latest weapons of the day. So they never stood a chance against four armies. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody here this morning. You can see something coming your way. And you know in the natural, you cannot face it. You cannot manage that situation. I don't know what, but something. Are you just like Jehoshaphat in the scriptures over here? So it says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 3, And Jehoshaphat feared. Are you fear struck stricken right now? Are you standing wondering what is the next move would I make? So he was in fear. But then the scripture said he set himself to seek the Lord and to proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. So he was wanting to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast. Now in the meantime, that's in verse 3 and you read all the other verses in his crying out for help and so on and so forth. But I like verse 12 and look at verse 12. It's very important. In verse 12, now as the army was coming close, very in close proximity, they are about to come and strike. He says in verse 12, he says, O Lord God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company. We don't know what to do. They're coming against us. But one thing we know, and that one thing that we know, we can do and we will do. And this is what he says. But our eyes is upon you, O Lord. Saints of God, take your eyes of that crisis. Take your eyes of that situation. Take your eyes off that problem. Because you know why? When you have a problem before you, the enemy can hold a magnifying glass to hold that problem. To magnify that problem, if that problem is so big, he'll make it to appear it is so big. But take your eyes of that and place your eyes on the Lord. I'm speaking to somebody this morning. Just focus on the Lord the author and finisher of our faith. And then as he did this, he said, my eyes is on the Lord. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives and their children. And then the prophecy came to, to Jehoshaphat that day. And the prophecy was, he said, hearken all you inhabitants and just be still and don't be dismayed against this great multitude or this battle, for this battle is not yours, but mine, says the Lord. And the Lord said, I'm going to give you victory because you took your eyes off the problem and you placed your eyes on one who can solve the problem. So take your eyes off the problem. As long as you have the eyes on the problem, the problem will remain. But when you take your eyes off the problem and place your eyes on the Lord, the problem disappears. Father, this morning, we pray, Lord, for thy people who are going through a time of crisis, a time of difficult, difficulties, God. Lord, we pray that we take our eyes of our difficulties, our crisis, our problem, and we place our eyes upon you, God. And we know, God, that you give us victory.